A researcher studied the eyesight of people at different ages. She calculated the vision score for each person in the study and plotted the data on the graph below. So here's our graph. Let's take a look. Uh, we've got age versus vision score, and these points, these must be the people that showed up. So for example, uh, at 65 years, this person scored 102, right? So that's the data we have. The researcher used the line y equals negative um, 0.1x plus 110 to model the data. In other words, uh, the researcher found a line of best fit, which we can estimate, right? Starting at 110 with a slope of about negative um, one-tenth. It's going to look something like that, just estimating it. You can see it's starting at 110 here, and then the slope is going down as we go. They want to know when she substituted the value x equals 65 into this equation, what did the result tell her? Well, you can plug it into the equation. You can plug in 65 for x, but you can also look at the graph. At 65, we're going to get about, right, some number here. It could be exactly on the line here. Sorry, it could be exactly on the point we're already given, but it looks like it's slightly above it. In other words, this line of best fit, this red line, is simply a trend of what we predict will happen next. So this is simply a prediction, an estimate of what should happen. You can see like lots of actual data points, like this person over here is pretty far from the line. So this line of best fit doesn't tell you ever exactly what will happen. It tells us what we think is most likely to be closest to what will happen. And if you look at your choices, B says that best. All right, I hope this helped.